Hey folks, what's up? My name is Florian, this is Wash House TV and today I'm gonna talk side projects. So, welcome to episode number three of Vashals TV and today I want to talk about side projects. Last week I was at Lake Constance, I was hired as an interest operator for a two-day job. We were producing an infomercial for a local company down there and we were located at a hotel, we got a seminar room and um, a three camera setup, we got an outside broadcasting van and uh, yes, it was a two-day production. So the first day we were setting up the lights and uh, installing cables and that. And um, the second day we were producing that show. And it was cool. It was really, really fun. It was something totally new for me. Um, something that I'm not doing at all. Um, mainly, most of the time, I'm just sitting here at my workstation and I'm writing code. I'm developing apps. That's what I do for a living. And um, yes, I also got a TV background, so I completed an apprenticeship as a media designer. I was working at a TV station for seven years, so um, I know, uh, I know uh, people and um, sometimes I get jobs from um, production companies around the area. And that's cool, and I really like to take them, um, because these are side projects that just, you know, really first of all, gets you out of the office, gets you out of your daily routine and um, you get to learn new people and you get to learn new skills and that's really, really cool. So side projects are a really great way to learn something new. Like this, Wash House TV, for me, is a total side project. This has nothing to do with my main business and yet it's really important for me that I do this. First of all, it gets me out of my daily routine. This is something totally new, something creative, something that lets me think out of the box. And um, so therefore, I really get more interested in my main business because I have this weekly thing that I can produce by the side, at the side, and so it, it really drags me back to what I'm normally doing. And it's like it's like a business vacation, something like that. And um, it also has a benefit that it builds my personal brand. I see this as a marketing tool and it builds the future for my personal brand. So I also get something out of this too. And um, But side projects are as I said, a really great way to learn new skills or to improve your skills you already have. So, for example, I'm coding websites and I'm offering to my clients um, that they can have photography. They can have photos for their website in that whole package, in that bundle. And that's cool. So this is, this is okay, I'm, I'm not really great at this, of course. So if you want to really have professional photos, they go to a professional photographer. But to, just to have them, to give them some extra value, that's really, really cool. And what I also want to do is I want to learn new programming languages. So I'm actually working on a side project where I'm, I'm writing a, a server app and I wanted to learn Ruby on Rails. So I created for me a room and especially I take the time every week just to sit down and to create this and to write this side project. And so I can get inspiration from that and I can get, uh, I learn new things and I also can bring things that I learn on my side projects back to my main business. And that's cool, that's great, that's how it works. Inspiration, talking about uh, inspiration. Um, when I was at Lake Constance last week, um, the video editor that was working with me on that day had Windows 8 on his laptop. And I thought to myself, oh cool, I have definitely to check out Windows because I didn't work for quite a while with it, maybe five years or so. Five years ago, I was just a Windows user. Right now, I'm an Apple developer. I only use Mac and I use iPad and the iPhone. So I'm totally out of all that Windows stuff. And I really thought to myself that I have to look into Android and that I have to look into Windows and all that stuff. And just to get the inspiration from that, just to, to, just to get out of your comfort zone, just to think out of the box. And um, it's great. I, I used Windows 8 right now over the weekend. And I think it's beautifully designed and it sucks out loud, totally. I, I would not work with it. I, I find it counterintuitive as hell. Um, mixing up that Metro Mobile 
UI with that desktop UI and putting it all together is so weird. I really don't like that. But now I can argue with that, you know? Now I know why I don't want to use Windows 8. And maybe they come up with something new with Windows 9 or Windows 10 or whatever. Or in 10 years, nobody knows who Apple was. I don't know. But just, you have to get out of your scope, out of your comfort zone. Look out and, and get new inspiration in, learn new things. And that's, that's really important. And side projects is an awesome way to do that. So that's it for today. My name is Florian. This was Warschau's TV, episode number three. And yeah, I'm going to see you next week where I'm going to talk about anything that I don't know right now because I do this totally spontaneous. And yeah, please leave it a thumbs up below, share this video, leave a comment and see you next week. That was 